Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double lines to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amuan Gabar, back with another lesson, low willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, through the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash, low willing to edify and lessons straight to the point. All right, now this is an article from Blacklisted entitled NYPD Deploys Counterterrorism Unit to Protect Wall Street. In response to GameStop protests. All right. Now, brothers, you know, you few sisters that watch have been paying attention to what's been going on in the markets. OK, well, you know that, you know, there's been a lot of a lot of, let's say, um, a lot of tension, so to speak, on the markets concerning this whole GameStop situation, which I'm not going to get into the details of it. All right, but pretty much, which I believe through the spirit that, you know, it's an inside job. You know what I'm saying? I believe somebody that, you know, somebody in the know has something to do with it, you know, for whatever reason. All right, for whatever reason, this whole, this whole world's a stage. You can't believe everything you read, you know, coming from Esau's media. All right, you can't believe everything you read coming from Esau's media. So, you know, this thing could have definitely been an inside job, you know what I'm saying, to... To label these so-called Reddit, you know, people that attack this whole GameStop situation or GameStop stocks and cause the price to, to skyrocket or whatever. Not getting into that, but here it is. You have NYPD or, or counterterrorism groups in Wall Street. Why do they have counterterrorism, um, um, you know, police to protect this thing. Why? Are they labeling those people that did what they did concerning this wall um the stocks, this game stop stocks terrorists? Is that what they're doing? You know what I'm saying? NYPD deploys counterterrorism unit to protect Wall Street in response to GameStop protests. Now more than likely the majority majority of those individuals are gonna be those that, you know. And did what they did. Now they now they locked out of their so called you know they Robin Hood accounts, you know they lost out in their stocks because supposed to be a free market. But when the poor start winning, they you know the rich is quick to lock you out of it because this is not a game intended for the poor to win. All right, this this whole thing is rigged. All right, it's, it's meant to pro, um to pretty much suppress the poor and keep them down. All right, so. You know, I believe it was rigged, you know what I'm saying? Or whether whether it is or it isn't, it, it doesn't matter because they're formulating something. All right, they're formulating something, which is, uh, I got a few scriptures just to bring out, low ones edifying, but I'm going to read some of this. And, you know, we used to speak right where these, where these two guys are standing, where these two Edomite cops or counterterrorism cops are standing. You know, we when we was on Wall Street, I think in um uh, 2010, I believe, um, yeah, we used to speak right in front of this bull, you know, right here, right, right over here. And then you had the other park down the block, you know, and then across the street, you know, we was all scattered throughout Wall Street when we used to, you know, we used to preach down there. You know what I'm saying? So it says the charging bull statue in Manhattan's financial district district has become the site of protests amid wider financial rebellion. And, you know, 2021 started a year of rebellion. Esau is staging a rebellion. To do what? Bring in order out of chaos. To bring in chaos. The rebellion is the chaos and he wants to bring order. Okay? Can't believe nothing this devil do. Every The whole world is a stage. He's stage, he staging everything. Everything is a psyops. And then, you know, now these, um, the, the, the new hype or frenzy is the silver market. All right? The silver, the bullion market. You know, gold and silver, um, and particularly the silver. All right, because the word went out that these Reddit guys are gonna try to attack silver. You know what I'm saying? But that that's a not, that's a whole nother topic because that's a different situation. Because you got the silver, you know, in the digital world, and then you got physical, you know, which they put a hold on physical. You couldn't buy physical over the weekend because a lot of bullion dealers wanted to hold on to their silver to see what would happen when the markets opened up back on Monday. You know what I'm saying? But it's a, it's a whole different, you know, it's a whole different, you know, ball game when it comes to the physical silver or whatever. 
But that's another topic. I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, it says on Friday, a handful of activists were seen in Bowling Green Park posing with the bull and holding signs that said tax Wall Street trades. A thin band of tape was also placed on a statue's head and rear end featuring slogans like hold the line and WSB, both allusions to GameStop insurrection. They go that word again, insurrection. All right, insurrection. Now, Esau could, Esau could go anyway with this, man. All right, he could blame, you know, hey, he could blame a group of uh, uh, millennials and say that they they crashed the markets. I'm just throwing it out there, you know what I mean? If, if, that, if that's even possible. But he could, he could do something like that and said that these group of millennials, you know, they, they infiltrated the markets and they caused a, a bubble and then caused, a, you know, caused a, a major crash or whatever the hell you could say. But, you know, this devil could do anything with this. You know what I'm saying? So it says both allusions to, get to the GameStop insurrection against hedge funds organized by reddits which the hedge funds which you know you can look that term up you know what i'm saying those are the guys that were that were losing money those that that were the heads or in charge of the hedge funds they were the one that lost out on the money all right it says organized by reddits wall street bets community a similar fate befell a new fearless girl statue which faces the new york stock exchange building both the bull and the girl are meant to symbolize the power, bravery, daring of a city's financial trader. In response, the New York Police Department mobilized its anti-terrorism unit, sending masked, blood-clad police officers wearing armor and carrying assault rifles to protect and secure the area. The stock market has had an interesting week, to say the least, which it definitely did. And I'm saying because now that now... You know, it's it's funny how they went from doing doing something like that with a stock that was pretty much, you know, going down a drain like GameStop because all you know everybody that got a game system now every you can just download straight up from your console whether it's a PS4, PS5, Xbox, um, Nintendo Wii, blah blah blah. You can just download straight from your console. You don't have to go into GameStop to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So they went from a a, a, a particular um, company that's that's pretty much irrelevant, and then all of a sudden they jump straight to the silver market. You know what I'm saying? Which is spiritual because last year you kind of seen the same situation going on. You know, as far as people uh, flocking to the silver market when this whole C19 thing started to blow up, and then you know, Apostle to all through the spirit, you know, was. You know, made a few videos as well as other brothers, myself included, you know, on the silver, you know, brother should, you know, get a get a few pieces of silver, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whether you did or you didn't, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just something, you know, it's just, you know, it, you know, like they say, it's better to have it than to not have it. Not to say that silver and gold and whatever, none of that is going to save anybody, but it's just something to do. You know what I'm saying? Just something to do to be ahead of the game, so to speak. You know, again, not that it, not that it matters for salvation, but it's just just to play the game. Scripture say, "Use the world, not not as abuse it." So to do that would to be to use the world if you was getting your your shekels or whatever. But if you didn't, you didn't. It is what it is. You know, it may not be too late anyway because we're gonna see. Maybe the hype is gonna die down, and then a more serious thing is gonna occur where, you know, it you know silver would actually pay off for a certain period of time or not. We'll see. It doesn't matter. But anyway, um, it says the stock market had, had, has had an interesting week, to say the least. We are happy to report that Wall Street charging bull secure continues to preside over Bowling Green for the foreseeable future, it announced. The bull was covered in a blue tarp to prevent further vandalism. All right. And the bull symbolizes, you know, the bull market or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to link this in the description box. You know, you can read the rest if you're interested in reading it. But let me go to some scriptures that I got pulled up. All right. This is Ephesians chapter 5. It says, I started 14. It said, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall, shall give thee light. See then ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. 
What does it mean to walk circumspectly? It means to walk looking all, all in all direction, all the way around. Circum mean around, and spect means to look, so look around, both physically and spiritually. All right, so we got to be spiritually more than ever, keeping our eyes open for what this devil is conjuring up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't here to try to, you know, uh, decode every single thing, but keep an eye out and, you know, um, count count the costs and 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 assume all possible, you know, angles or whatever. But, you know, ultimately just keep an eye open, be circumspect. You know, Yahweh Hashem is going to reveal in due time what this devil is trying to do. All right. It says redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right, the days are evil. All right, everything that this devil is doing is to set up. You know, hey, hey, man. Ultimately, Yahweh by Shem Shah is preparing something real ill down the line, man. All right, something crazy is gonna go down, and and you know it's gonna be Lord's gonna throw like a a, ma a, a major monkey wrench in this whole 2021, and it's gonna catch a lot of people by surprise. That's why I scripture say watch as well as pray. And be circumspect that you don't be caught off guard. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to throw a monkey wrench, man. It's going to catch a lot of people by surprise. Because, you know, the scriptures call, you know, say that this devil is wiser than Daniel. All right? And the Lord gave him that type of knowledge for these times that are approaching to bring judgment. So it's re it says redeeming the time means to buy back the time, make good use of the time. How do you do that? You know what I'm saying? By uh, um, pertaining or giving attendance to prophecy to the scriptures to this truth okay the days are evil it says wherefore be not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is don't be unwise but understand what the will of the lord is the lord the will of the lord is to bring this place down so we know that all things are pointing to the downfall of the society no matter what happens it is all pointing to the downfall of society so you know ain't nothing done by coincidence all things are set up by yahweh Shah. he gives it to this devil to uh to set the stages you know, so we got to watch what, the, you know, what's going to go down the line. So it says, and be not drunk with wine with where we're in is excess, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. So don't be drunk with the, the ways of the world, the philosophy of this world. Don't get caught up in it. You know, let these, let these characters out here in this world get caught up in what's going on. Let's just sit back and watch everything unravel. You know, when shit go crazy and, you know, stocks skyrocket and silver skyrocket or whatever, let, let people in the world go crazy over that, man. Let us continue to just watch and be spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually it will happen. Stocks can go up, shit can skyrocket, or it can shoot like a plummet. You know, if, if you stock, if you the type of brother that do invest or whatever, and your shit go down, then, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get all bugged out about it. You know, same thing with the silver. If that shit, you know, skyrocket or it circled the drain or whatever, which more than likely it probably would just skyrocket, don't. Bug out or lose your mind over that either. You know what I'm saying? But be filled with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart of the, to the Lord. All right? Because, it's, you know, be spiritual in these times, man. All right? Stay spiritual. No matter what. Okay? This is First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be sober, be vigilant, meaning not to be drunk like I just mentioned earlier in the last precept. Okay, be vigilant, meaning to constantly be on the watch. Because your adversary, the devil, which is Esau, Edom, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So Esau is going out and about, seeking who he going to devour, man. And you know, don't, don't get caught up in this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get caught up. Constantly pray, watch, you know, read, do, give attendance to the scriptures. Do what the Lord commanded and have faith and let the Lord do as well. Because Esau Edom is going about seeking whom he may devour. And he got a whole lot of people that he going to devour. And we going to see these people get devoured, man. You know? Whom resists the steadfast in the, faith, in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplishing your brethren that are in the world. All right? Because afflictions, you know, that, that brothers are going through is... It ain't just you. It's brothers throughout the whole, you know, corners of the earth. The four corners of the earth, man. All right? Why? Because we are in this thing. You know, the scripture said that uh, the servant is not greater than the master. How we shall suffer so will his servants. All right? All right? Um, this is Matthew chapter 26, and I ended off here. 
It says, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right, again, another scripture that I say, Watch. All right, watch. Okay, because Yahweh Shah, when he said this, he was talking to his um a few of his disciples. You know, he told them to watch up with him, wait up with him. And this was the hour when he was about to be betrayed. You know, so he asked, he said to watch. So, you know, so he told his, his disciples to watch that he enter not into, the, into temptation because the time of temptation is coming. And the ultimate time of temptation is the hour of temptation. Okay, which is when this devil is going to, you know, cast certain brothers into prison. All right. And make that chip mandatory. Ultimately is when the RFID chip is mandatory and you have to denounce it. All right. And live as, you know, you know, live basically, basically solely off the faith that the Lord is going to provide. All right. Because that's the time that's coming. All right. The hour of temptation, which is going to try the whole world. You know, now we know, you know, hey man, this is the, you know, hey, 2021 is going to be ill. June. I mean, not J June, January just ended. This is published today, which is February 1st. And we know this devil want to crash the stock market or whatever in order to, um, or crash the dollar in order to bring in this digital currency, which is going to be by the way of the RFID implantable microchip, man. You know, he want to do that. Now he could say that these Wall Street, you know, or these on um, Reddit, you know, bandits, or if you want to call them terrorists or whatever, which they they were just doing they were just exercising their 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 free rights you know what I'm saying their rights so to speak to to a free market you know what I'm saying but when the devil's losing you know he's he's a sore loser this is the same crack this is the same cracker the same devil that cried when he gave up his blessing he he's waiting for a blessing this is the same guy we talking about so of course he's gonna be a sore loser you know what I'm saying but this is the same guy that's gonna label people terrorists and blame he could probably blame them for crashing the economy and say that it was a it was a, a foreign enemy and, and start a whole world war for this thing man we'll we could we'll see we'll see you know you could there's many what ifs and blah 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 but you know point of lesson is just to watch all right watch because this devil is setting up his military throughout the four corners of the united states you know the national guards was just deployed in dc you know apostle ramlop sent me this um a clip earlier you know more deep more um national guards troop deployed in dc coming out of you know white coach buses or whatever so that some definitely is about to go down, man. You know, so watch as well as pray. All right. So low willingness to edifying lessons, straight to the point. Till next time I say shalom to the elect.